but uh, where where you take the pattern and repeat it indefinitely. Actually, better. no, I've got. I, I think I'm going to do something a little more. In, I've got an idea for this room. I actually want to do something a little more intricate. Cool. Um, I want to actually use the altar and the pedestals as a guide for the pattern. That's just going to radiate outwards from the actual altar. Should look cool. I've done that before, but uh, I'm really overdue to do that again. Yeah, I remember your your setup in the previous Let's Play on the on the old you know, the old Resident Rise yep. one. Man, that was a work of beauty. Uh, so if you want to do something like yeah, that here, I'm I've been, all. It's one of those that. things where I I have been meaning to do that for ever and a day, and I keep on getting distracted by shiny building things. <laughs> It's the danger of this uh, these mods is you got th you can build and yeah all sorts of stuff. Now, do you think you could find me a reasonably accessible um, uh, ME connection relative to this floor? Uh, yeah, there's actually one over here behind this. You want to just terminal. you want to stand on it, and I will uh, come down through the floor here. All right, coming down. Okay. Um, cool. So we'll go up with this cable. We'll go up with the prime cable. Do I want to use the prime cable, or do we... no? We should just we just need the Thomcraft network here. Actually, hang on a second. There's a this thing goes back off into that direction. Which which one now? Back. Uh, this is dense amy it's fine. conduit Th that's heading off. This, this is direction. this is part of an old the old system. Uh, th this is this is this is all supposed to be there. Okay. Yeah, so that, con that conduit that case, is okay. You can just run this straight up. Yeah, that one there is actually that's the dense line cable. That's the um, what you call it? The uh, the uh, peer to peer line. Oh, oh, that's kind of convenient. Yeah, you're you're coming up right underneath an arcane pedestal. That's actually not a bad thing. Did I break anything important there? Mm, no, you are right between candles. Perfect. Okay. Fortunately, um, applied energistic stuff does not impact the behavior of um, uh, yeah, applied energistics doesn't affect Thomcraft balance. And with as much stuff as we've got around here, even Kami should be relatively stable. Yep. Yeah. We'll, we won't know for sure until we try, though. All right, coming upstairs. Well, you've got both different types of crystals, so... Yep. All right, where did that thing... Ah, there it is right there. Perfect. Okay, that will go there. And then we need a chest. All right. So what we're going to test here is a simple question: Can um, applied energy, or sorry, can ME insert items into a um, pedestal? Good question. All right. So we can test that out very quickly with a conduit here, a conduit here. East, disable, up, insert. So it rec So first things first, um, it does recognize it as a valid inventory. So if I throw, say, a one of those, hey, check it out. I throw the shard in the box. Oh dear, and that means if you set it up appropriately, you could actually set it up perfectly balanced. Exactly, you got it, you've got it. Oh my. Did, yeah, uh, Etho, just before I ran, stopped having time to actually watch people play Minecraft, uh, Etho was working on a system like this, uh, although he had access to some of the factory uh, mods. 
uh, I don't know, um, like mine, like uh, Steve's. Steve's. Yeah, he was using Steve's yeah. and stuff, but uh, the principle still applies. I believe the operable phrase here is, oh my. And the best part is, you can also program the, um, because you have an in slash out option, uh, you can have the thing set to filter, to whitelist things that are going in, and simultaneously blacklist the uh, inserted product. Right? There you go. Yeah. So it's programmed so it will, ex so an item is sent in and that same item is not allowed to come back out, but anything else, namely the infused product, will come back out again. All right, so this one will sounds, be the... Uh, sounds pretty yeah. nifty. It's like the, uh, the idea is going to work. Okay, so there's the diamond. And since we've, you know, programmed this thing to handle the single most complex to, uh, well, it's not the most complex, but it's a fairly complex one that we, if we're going to do Kami, will require a lot of infusions. But we can do this with a limited number of additional um, items, right? If we want to start automating that sort of thing, yes. Yeah, exactly. If if there was something, my, my theory would be if there was something out there that we needed all the time, lots of all the time, that would be the uh, my case for it. Uh, like if we had to infuse, um, sh like if balance shards required an infusion, for example, they'd be a perfect candidate. As it is, they don't, yes. but you get the idea. Absolutely. And by the way, one of these days we need to work on your, your flux flu. Oh, you geez. You really do Am need I... to eventually take a dip in a sauna I probably do. Okay, so this will be the ender shard in this filter. Okay, and then the last one will be this one right here. Of course, this has just made the whole system much, much uglier, right? Um, we'll do a proof of concept of the actual summoning of the items into the altar, and we'll call it an episode. Now, of course, this system doesn't do some fairly important things. For example, it doesn't uh, check to see if I have enough um, uh, of the all-important um, aspects in the jars. Uh, we don't have a way to do that yet. I don't even know if we have a way to do that in the mod pack, but as far as things go, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Not in the least. Yeah. Okay. Last but not least, let's just get a return cycle here. East, insert on red, up, Disabled. Okay, I'm going to program a. Uh, I'm going to program a crafting card, and if this works, we can actually do the initial summoning of all the items into the uh, network. Awesome. Because it was that easy to set up. So a. I have Ender, a Ender shard, a Nether shard, a diamond, and a. Nether shard currently are going to make scribing tools because we don't have any icker for the actual demonstration. <laughs> oh. That's okay. That almost sounds like the beginning of a really bad It joke. does, doesn't it? You know, walked into a bar. Yeah, oh, I know, I know. That's exactly where I was going in my brain, too. Yeah. Okay, so if I put that there. Now, oh, we need to give it a crafting card so it knows that it's allowed to actually craft things. Because the uh, Eye of Ender, for example, will have to be crafted on... The only thing you're not going to be able to automate is the wand click. Yep, and that's that's fine. You know what? That's a good check and balance, because that, that keeps me from being able to do this, because I also can't automate checking to make sure I have enough of the uh, aspects. Oh, yeah, that, that's kind of... Yeah, because so, talking about things you wouldn't want to do by accident... Um, yeah, that would definitely be an oops. 
All right, I'm... Oh, by the way, also at some point we can make the advanced alchemical furnaces okay. that does not eat up the primordial pearl. That's another thing we can do. All right, I have everything of importance is now in the altars. And Excellent. something that shouldn't be in the altars. Why is my why is my supper in the altar? I must have accidentally right clicked it. But there you go. I just that was that was done entirely by the ME system. All the items placed there. You know what? I think we have time. Just have a look, quick look. We need 32 light, 32 spirit, 32 human. We have... Do we even have light in here? We don't have Lux. I haven't programmed Lux in. Hilarious. I got a jar right here. Humanus is only four. Alright, you want to just uh, give that a quick request? I'll throw a stack of torches in the system. Just punch the button a few times. Yeah, we'll just get a... I'll just get a handful of torches in... I'm just going to throw them in directly. I'll program that, uh, that later. I pushed the button. You did, and it's doing. It's already. It's he's he's already putting it in. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's all happening behind the scenes because magic. I love that little system. Uh, so yeah. So there's a few more aspects that still need to be added to the system. Uh, let's see. We need label. Am I out of labels? I might be out of labels. Wacky. We have one Lux Essence. Fortunately, Lux Essence is stupidly easy to do. It's just, you know... Oh, I just, threw, I just threw a whole bunch of torches into the system, so... There you go. Or into not even into the system, into the actual uh, refiner thing. So there will be more Lux. There will be more coming shortly. All right, so 32 Lux, 32 Spirits, and 32 Humans. So we don't have Spiritus in here either, do we? I'm not seeing it. Nope. Okay. What has what's a good source of Spiritus? This is something I'll have to get set up off cam, but I thought I thought I was hoping I had all, all these set up already. Um, soul sand. Soul sand. <laughs> nice. I'll just throw some soul sand into the refiner here. I'm also making some additional Lux crystals just to have a surplus. Oh, that, oh yeah, we'll, we'll 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 program those to actually be delivered um, automatically. Yeah, on demand yeah. things. Yeah, it, it's part of the on part of the on demand system is actually having those various aspects already in the background. Yeah, just so you know, every button push delivers about four items. There we go. All right, Lux is done. We're good on that front. Humanus is on its way, and then the Spiritus will be available in the network in a moment. All right, I'm obviously gonna have to wait for that to finish uh, refining there. Okay, that should do that. So we're just waiting for the refiner here to do its thing, which it is very slowly. Yeah, hence my suggestion for the improved one. Oh, it's what's well, the um? It's not the uh, furnace that's the limiting factor here. It's the crystallizers. The crystallizers are the uh, bottlenecks still, so I really... We just need another output point 
uh, another output conduit, and then another set of crystallizers if we want that to go faster. That's one of the reasons why I stockpile the stuff in the background. All right, that's 12 of it so far. Unfortunately, with all those extra lux you threw in there, we're uh, stuck waiting on the spiritus, which is, oh well, no worries. Okay, there we go, and a jar of spirits. There's seven more. Yeah, it's just a, just a waiting game now. We'll have uh, a nice round of um, uh, attempted ichor in um, in. We're going cami. We're going to make ichor. The other thing we won't be able to make automatically now that I think about it are the... Um, uh, <laughs> the, the, the stars. The yeah. Stars. We could almost do I it. Know. That's a funny part. <laughs> Uh, the only thing that you would need is to set up, like, say, a grinder outside its area of explosion. Yeah, um, but you, you can't uh, expand the radius of the grinder, um, so I'm not sure if you can put set one up far enough away to actually kill it. The other way that was done on the Forgecraft server was using Batania. Oh, you know those flowers that that uh, Kate's got to protect her her farm. Those work with uh, work on uh, on withers, eh? Yes, the bell thorns, hmm. and they are not considered to be a ranged attack. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Now that might have been updated to correct that. Uh, Vasky is apparently becoming very paranoid about that sort of thing <laughs> these days. Um. But mm, worth a shot. His his, his uh, greatest enemies, um, people like Direwolf Twenty, huh? Or just people who automate all the things. Yeah. The Vasky wanted some things to be manual, and he uh, or she—I don't know yeah. which Vasky would qualify as. Um, I, I think underestimated the ability to automate <laughs> things given certain access to certain mods. Well, as Flower Child has always said, it's almost impossible to balance your mod when you have no control over what other people are doing. You, you can't balance uh, against somebody else's design. That's just a recipe for insanity. Well, the counterpoint to that is since this is a definition case of insanity. This is not something you should try to be doing, and so you should be, you know, um, <clears throat> I understand that, you know, e each mod author is their own mm -hmm. castle kind of thing, but at the same time, you have to be aware mm -hmm. that people mm -hmm. are not going to use it by itself unless it's a full conversion mod, like, say, Oh, I don't know. Better than well, wolves that you just yeah, mentioned. Yeah, or uh, or even uh, what's that other one? Um, the other sort of Terra, Terra Firma Firma Craft. Craft. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's just uh, a question of how much time do you want to spend nerfing your own mod to prevent something that people are trying to do? We'll we'll just go and do in other mods. And the other thing is, I'm not really sure what the point is in that. Mm -hmm. I, from a philosophical perspective, mind you. Yeah. Um, Let's make Icker. You know? I have just hit the button. Just in case you were wondering. If disaster is good... Yeah. So far, so good. It's not... Not screaming for uh, in agony over here. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! What? We need third. We need sixty-four spirits. Get more spirits in that jar down there, quick, quick, quick! We've got time. Doing it. How much do you have in there? Fourteen more. 
and 16 from the ethereal essences if we throw it in there. All right, I'm throwing the 15. I'm just throwing a stack in. Oh, you threw in soul sand directly? Yes. Oof, um, that does generate a lot of excess aspects that he's going to try and process. Yeah, that's true, but it's the only source we have of spiritus that we have what's immediately he, what's available. He, what's he got in his jar right now? Crap, he's got something in his jar. Empty jar? Yeah, I just threw down a couple. I don't know what he's carrying around right now, but something is... Oh shoot, he's he's using that, um... It's that trap... Yeah, see, he's he's prioritizing the wrong... Then kill him. I just gotta keep that one empty. Just keep emptying the Terra and Venculum. You wanna check upstairs and make sure nothing's gone unstable on us? It doesn't look like it. It's still pulling Essentia, so. Okay. We are literally laying the tracks in front of a moving train right now. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, everything is still stable so far up here. Nothing has gone wrong. All four items are in their places Okay. so far. Good. And the uh, thing in the middle, too? Thing in the middle is right where it should be. Okay. It's starting to pull the spirits. Oh, crap. I have no way of telling if we have enough... If it'll get around to actually pulling the Spiritus, it will. It, sh it looked like it was starting to. Ch uh, shift, uh, use, um... 22 left, 21, 20... 21. Come on. Oh. 10 left. I don't know where we're at. Okay, there's another spirit that just came in. We'll keep money. Uh, we're stuck at seven. It's bringing three more. Four more. Come on. Go, little guy. This is where things could get ugly. I'm watching up here. And of course this would happen on a Kami trans. Yep, naturally. Uh, okay, it's got five more. Three. We've got three left. It's I'm still watching. It's got enough in the network, in the system. I just have to keep him from picking up the wrong... He got Spiritus? Okay, this should do it. This should do it. All right, here it comes. We are good. It is pulling items in. Holy... That's a testament to the stability of the... Uh, alter that that didn't start burning up uh, aspects. Yeah, I was waiting for that yeah, to happen. We... It, it seems to be working. Dude, you've got a super stable system here. This system is so stable you can screw up on a Kami transfusion and still correct it mid-transfusion. Mm -hmm. Dude, you rock. Yeah, and then now if all's well with the world, that Icker should just disappear. Yep, it just did. And that will be dumped straight into the Applied Energistics Network because it thinks it's a scribing tool. But now we can actually, uh, I can actually reconfigure that to now know how to make Icker itself. That is automated, um, vaguely roughly automated Kami. Cool, eh? That's pretty awesome. Let me just confirm that that is that I have all of it. Yeah, eight. Sorry, that should be eight. Where's the other three? That's weird. Did you grab some maker? I did not. I don't see any in the system either. Weird. It says it should. It says the recipe should produce eight. Did we? How many did it produce? Uh, it looks like only five. Did some get stuck upstairs? Or do you think maybe that's what it cost us when the infusion went sideways? I don't know. 
Hmm. Weird. Alright, well, we won't worry about it. I'll just tell it that it produces... Um... You know what? I'm just going to tell it it only produces one. Because I'm not going to be doing these infusions more than one infusion in a row, right? Not a ch that would be up to you. I don't. With requiring sixty-four spiritus, um, suggests that maybe that is a poor plan. Most likely, yeah. yes. Um, you do want a full jar of spiritus before proceeding. All right, but there we are. That's the cami infusion programmed and ready. I think that's an excellent spot to wrap up today's episode. I think it is. Well, that was productive. Uh, cool. Thanks for watching, everyone. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now. Take it easy.